Hi everybody. Okay, so recently I came across this gorgeous pattern by Jeremy Schaefer for a pinwheel. And I wanted to do a project with my kids for origami, so we made the pinwheel according to Jeremy Schaefer's instructions on this video and works pretty well and um you can make it uh, spin by blowing on it. It's really cool. And if you if you drop it, it spins. If you just and you can do it either way, it'll it'll spin upside down or right side up. And I thought that although I liked it a lot, I thought I could make another version um, with. Uh, with five blades rather than four if I start with a pentagon. So, here I have a pentagon and um, I just folded this pentagon and cut it a minute ago and I'll start by showing you how to make the pentagon. Starting with a square sheet of paper. So, first step is just to fold in half. Then we fold this bottom left corner to the top and crease at the, at the top left corner. This is one way of doing the Pentagon. I, I've done it another way too, but I, I do like this way. Then we fold the top left corner down to the bottom edge and creasing at the bottom left corner. Open up. Next, we bring the bottom right corner of the model to the crosshairs of the X we just created and make a crease. Now, this same corner that we brought here, we're going to bring over to this edge, creasing at the bottom point, making a point there. Now we bring this bottom left edge up here and this whole, we bring this bottom edge to be adjacent parallel to this edge here, creasing at this corner, the bottom. We flip the model over, fold it in half at the corner, right at this seam, match up the edges there, crease it, and now we know where to cut. We cut right along this line of this flap. Cut right here. And you can use this to start fires with. In the fireplace. And um, open it up. Uh, doesn't want to open up. Open it up. And there's the Pentagon. So, now, in order to make our pinwheel with five blades, what we do is we want to make 
essentially a water bomb base with the with a pentagon rather than with a square. So it's it's similar to a water bomb base with a pentagon. What we need is every other fold to be mountain and valley with the corner folds, sorry, this is a corner fold and this is a, a side, an edge fold. See how this fold terminates at the edge, this fold terminates at the corner. So the corner folds are gonna be mountains and the edge folds are gonna be valleys. So. This one's proper, this one's good to go. This one needs to be turned to a valley. Then we have a valley that is a corner, it needs to be turned into a mountain. We have to turn this uh, edge, it just terminates at the edge, so it's a, va a mountain that needs to be turned into a valley. Here's a corner, terminates at the corner, so it needs to be turn turned into a mountain. That terminates at the edge, so it needs to be a valley. This one's good. It's a it's a mountain that terminates at the corner, valley, mountain, valley. So what you'll end up with is every other fold will be mountain or valley. And then we want to actually this is concave right now. I want to make it convex like that by popping up the bottom and then I'm gonna tuck in all of my valley folds and make essentially a water bomb base. And it'll be uneven in, in pieces. There's more on, there's three flaps on this side and two flaps on this side because there's a total of five flaps, but it doesn't matter because I wanna turn all the flaps to one side anyway. So now all the flaps are facing the same direction. Now in Jeremy Schaefer's video, he faced, he, the way he did it was, he faced um, all the, 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 the layers to the top like this, and then the, the point, the solid point that doesn't have layers at the bottom and he faced the, the the top he faced to the right now that makes a pinwheel when you do it this way that spins counterclockwise and I like it to spin clockwise so I'm facing it to the left like this and this will make a pinwheel that spins clockwise now what we need to do is we need to fold this edge and consequently the rest of the figure um, into eight sections and we do that by having and having and having so first I fold the bottom corner to the top and I'm trying to take any wrinkles out as I go and you're folding through ten layers here because there's five sides times each one is too thick so it's ten layers so you have to crease it pretty hard and It'll get some wrinkles, it's fine. So I've got two sections. Now I have to have each one of those and then have each of the subsequent ones. And so I'm gonna have this one. Make a sharp crease here. Okay, now I want to have this top section. Oh, and, and by the way, when I have the top section, it's going to want to fan out. You see, when I turn it, it's going to want to fan out. I don't want it to fan out. I want to prevent that somewhat. So I'm going to hold everything kind of, hold everything solid as I do it.
Get a nice strong crease there. You can even use this handle of the scissors to get you a nice strong crease or some kind of um, letter opener or a piece of bone. So now we've got four sections. We want to have each one of these again. So again, I'm going to, since I'm starting on the bottom, I'm going to hold everything together so it doesn't fan out. Fold it like that. Okay. And it did fan out a little bit, and that's okay. It still will work. This, what I learned is this model doesn't have to be incredibly precise. You have to try for precision, but you might end up with imprecision, and that's okay. And I have the top pointed part. Now the way to have these middle sections is, um, you can do it a couple ways, but probably the easiest way is you want to bring the point to this line here. Because see, this is three big. This is basically one section, two section, three sections, and you want to make it into one and a half. So I want to have the three I don't know if that made sense. And um, but essentially, if you follow what you see, it'll work. And notice how this fold lines up with this fold, this mountain and this valley. So that's what we do there. And then we do a similar idea. We bring this line to this fold, the bottom to this fold here and hold everything try to keep everything from fanning bring it crease it and unfold and now as you can see we have eight sections one two three four five six seven eight then we flip it over Looks a lot cleaner on this side. And you can see where we've used the, uh, you can see how these these creases are stronger where I've used the scissors. So I'm gonna just reinforce these creases with the scissors. And I have some stronger creases there. Now this is the part that could be a little tricky. Um, what we want to do next is we're going to fold each of these sections in half, but in in a but in it but we're going to fold them diagonally in half. So we're going to so about there would be about half. So on the right side, we start, we, we want to fold it in half, but on the left side, we want to terminate at the bottom tip. We do that each time. So the, the fold is going to go like that. that. The fold will follow the, the line of the scissors. See, like that about like that. And it's going to be valleys. So I'm going to fold this up here. And I'm not going straight across because I would fold the entire section in half. I'm going to fold it. And as you can see, I'm angling the fold down. And, it, and we want to try for precision but we probably are gonna end up with some imprecision because we have so many layers that we're folding through, but that's okay. And get a nice crease there. You see the diagonal nature of this fold. We wanna do this on all these sections. 
So the next one, see, is here. This one, you can leave folded or unfold either way. It's just gonna, it, that, that fold will remain. Now, I start by just kinda doing the right side. Sometimes it's even easy, it's easy, it's, you, can, you can start on the left too, but just it's kind of a feel your way through thing, so. Starting on the right side, and I'm molding this fold at the bottom corner at the at the left side. You see that? What we start to get on the left side is a curvature, and the curvature will be more pronounced as we go. And then you can get a nice. Um, now I'm going to go to the next one and I'm just folding this a bit so that I'll be able to work with this section only and again I'm going to get this fold going from the right side and I'm going to guide it down to this bottom edge that so it's right there and the paper will almost depending how how you do it the paper will be essentially even flat or just have a small fold right there at the edge I get a crease there go to my next section Give it a little fold down at the top, this, this next section, top fold. Start doing my fold. And you see how I worked it to the diagonal there? And you see that nice curve there? See how the blades curve? We're making that curve. Give it a crease. Go to the next section. I got that halfway on the right, and now I'm gonna work it to the corner there on the left. There we go. Oh, that's a nice looking curve, huh? Next one. As we go, by the way, in order to curve it, the these corners might not line up. It might start overlapping to 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 the right. See that? I don't know if you can see how it overlaps there. Two more sections to go. This one's going to seriously overlap. It's kind of easier to start from the left on this one. And then this final section, we just bring this edge alongside this edge by folding it halfway across the triangle, like so. Okay, and we, again, nice curve there. And then, so, this is the cool part. Now we open it up, all these, open up all these layers. I'm just, I'm just pulling apart the layers. And now, I want to end up with, um, what, what's one-fifth of 360 degrees? That's the angle. Since there's five layers, I want... A fifth of 360 degrees between each one and I'm gonna try to estimate that and that this is not important because you can even that out later so now I 
I separate the next few layers off of there. Pull out that guy. taking shape and pull out this last layer here now I have my five layers and what we have are all the folds are in place now and all that's left to do is reinforce the folds and um, uh, reinforce the folds and collapse the model like it should be. And you see, I've tried to make it e as even as possible here. I've tried to make it even between the five, so that the, the five layers are all spread out evenly. And on the bottom, it looks like so. And I like to now flatten these bottom folds and make it nice and pretty on the bottom. So I'm just, I'm just, Increasing the bottom folds now, making it regular. There's going to be a little white showing on the bottom, and that's just fine. I've got a pretty star there. Now in order to uh, collapse it, what we do is, this is a little bit of the tricky part, it took a little practice, but you push down and twist. In this case, we twist counterclockwise because we're it's gonna fly clockwise. Down and twist. See that? How I'm flattening the blades? The blades are gonna flatten down pushing down and twisting. And they're a little bit uneven. And we'll fix that. This tip is a little tricky to make perfect. I don't think I've done a perfect one yet, but as long as it, the tip isn't so important that it looks perfect, but this is pretty even, but the way I, I learned to even it out is to count how many folds are between each one. So we've got one, two, three, four folds. This lines up with the fourth fold. One, two, three, this one lines up with the fourth. One, two, three, four, five and a half. This one lines up with. So I've got to turn this one some. And as you, it's 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 dynamic because as you line one up, the rest of are going to be misaligned. So I'm just going to keep twisting them and adjusting. Then it's looking better. That's looking much better. What I'm doing is just pulling the blades to where I feel that they look even, and I can check it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and a half. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. About about five folds between each one. So now, what I have to do, what I really, what you really want to do is now crease all your folds. Crease all these folds. It'll fly much better if you go through and crease them all, because you've only creased them when they were ten layers thick. Now you're gonna reinforce those creases they're a single layer thick.
that's about it. And now I have the five bladed pinwheel by Jeremy Schaefer, adapted by from the four wheel four bladed one. And there it spins pretty well when I blow on it. And let's see how it does if I drop it. it works pretty well. Thanks, everybody.